guys, it's Estral, and today we're gonna talk about Daniel Smith watercolor, specifically about one of their more botanical watercolor sets I recently got. So firstly, we're gonna do some swatches, and afterwards, we're gonna do a beautiful botanical illustration. Daniel Smith watercolors are professional watercolors that have been manufactured in the USA ever since the 1970s. They are very well known for their high pigmentation, vibrant colors, exceptional quality, and light fastness. They've got this huge collection of 266 colors, and among them are even some luminescent pigments to add a touch of sparkle to life. I mean, I definitely love some sparkle in life. Now let me introduce Jean Hines Master Artist Watercolor Set. It's full of beautiful colors that have a botanical and flowery feel. The set includes Nickel Azo Yellow, Aussie Red Gold, Opera Pink, Quinacridone Magenta, Imperial Purple, Moon Glow, Lunar Blue, Cascade Green, Green Appetite Genuine, and Undersea Green. Now let's get into some actual swatching. I will do both wet on wet as well as wet on dry techniques to see how the paints act. swatches and they're gonna help us a lot with choosing colors for our botanical illustration. I chose to paint parrot tulips. <laughs> I really like them because I, they have those tattered petals and I found my reference pictures on Pinterest. Um, I took multiples of them and then I tweaked and changed them a bit to create a reference I really liked the most. First, I did a rough sketch of big shapes before refining it and afterwards transferring it to a watercolor paper. I'm using Han Maul 200 grams cold pressed paper. I haven't used this paper before, so we'll see how it goes. I have a spare piece of paper here next to me so I can swatch my mixed colors as I go before I lay them on the actual paper. Just to be safe, I added some masking fluid around the flowers, but it ended up really bothering me so I removed it halfway through the illustration. I started by doing a washed out layer over the flowers to map out color composition. Watercolors are 
all about layering for me, so you will see me use a heat gun to speed up drying process so I could work more quickly. This illustration was done in about three hours, divided into three separate days. Usually I have quite a fear of layering down more saturated and vibrant colors, so I tried going out of my comfort zone with this illustration and I feel like the final results turned out quite nice. I'm very proud of this one! 
Overall, the Gene Heinz set is amazing for botanical or more nature-oriented illustration. It has all the important colors one would need to make a variety of illustrations. Daniel Smith watercolors have proven themselves really as a high quality and high pigmented watercolors and I really can't wait to use them for more illustrations. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you would like to see some more similar videos and also please let me know in the comments below if you have tried watercolors from Daniel Smith before how did you like them? What did you use them for? I would really love to know. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye!